Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox here. In this video, we're gonna talk about these new cryptocurrency mining GPUs from NVIDIA and the crippling of the RTX 3060 for Ethereum mining. Okay, I'm sure many of you have seen this news by now and we're gonna talk about the news, of course, and then my perspective on it. Um, but just in case you haven't, let me give you an overview of exactly what's happened here. So NVIDIA put out a couple statements today, and it's all around mining and what they're doing to get GPUs in the hands of gamers. Because as we all know, GPUs have been super hard to get, and here we are again where miners are getting the bad rap for it. I mean, I, I know Ethereum mining is crazy profitable right now, so miners are definitely, including myself, buying as many GPUs as they can get. So with all that in mind, NVIDIA put out a statement today. Let me read it to you, it's pretty short, so stick with me here. It says, we are gamers through and through. We obsess about new gaming features, new architectures, new games and tech. We design GeForce GPUs for gamers and gamers are clamoring for more, obviously, because you can't get these GPUs right now. They go on to say, yet yeah, NVIDIA GPUs are programmable and users are constantly discovering new applications for them from weather simulation and gene sequencing to deep learning and robots. Mining cryptocurrency is one of them. With the launch of the GeForce RTX 3060 on February 25th, we're taking an important step to help ensure GeForce GPUs end up in the hands of gamers. Here we go. Having hash rate RTX 3060 software drivers are designed to detect specific attributes of the Ethereum cryptocurrency mining algorithm and limit the hash rate or cryptocurrency mining efficiency by around 50%. So they're having what this GPU is actually capable of through the driver. They go on to say that only makes sense. Our GeForce RTX GPUs introduce cutting edge technologies such as RTX real times ray tracing, DLSS AI accelerated image upscaling technology, reflex super fast response rendering for the best system latency, and many more, tailored to meet the needs of gamers and those who create digital experiences. To address the specific needs of Ethereum mining, we're announcing the NVIDIA CMP or cryptocurrency mining processor product line for professional mining. More on that in a second here. CMP products which don't do graphics are sold through authorized partners and optimized for the best mining performance and efficiency. They don't meet the need uh, they don't meet the specific requ <laughs> huh. they don't meet the spe specifications required of a GeForce GPU and thus don't impact the availability of GeForce GPUs to gamers. So I think these chips are chips that would not have made the cut to go into you know, an RTX uh, GPU. So they're gonna use them for mining specifically. Uh, for instance, CMP lacks display outputs, enabling improved airflow while mining so they can be more densely packed. CMPs also have a lower peak core voltage and frequency, which improves mining power efficiency. Creating tailored products for, for customers with specific needs delivers the best value for customers. What a weird sentence. With CMP, we can help miners build the most efficient data centers while preserving GeForce RTX GPUs for gamers. All right, before we continue on, my thoughts on all this as a miner. Um, it's interesting for NVIDIA to come out and really draw a line in the sand and say, we support gamers. And re really, we don't support miners with GeForce GPUs, but we will go on to support miners with these uh, CMP GPUs. So, I mean, a lot remains to be seen, but at least they're acknowledging miners, right? They've done this before. Um, if you guys have been around the scene for a little while, there have been mining specific GPUs that have been released in the past. And, you know, they typically either have maybe one display uh, port output or none. And they're tailored specifically for miners. And I'll talk about, you know, when those might make sense so when they might not make sense to buy if you're a miner. When we go through the new NVIDIA CMP offerings here. So, I mean, that's, that's their vision on it right now. So let's go on and continue and look at those specific 
CMP GPUs and what they're gonna be all about. So they're the NVIDIA CMP HX series and they're built specifically for mining. They're gonna be available through partners that you can see here. Uh, EVGA I know has offered the um, specific mining cards in the past. I believe Gigabyte did too. And maybe a few others, but those are the two that I'm familiar with, EVGA being one of the biggest with their P104 series, which I'm sure a lot of you guys may still have mining. Okay, so these are the four chips that they're talking about, and they included the hash rate that it would have for Ethereum, the power it would have, connectors, memory size, and when it would be available. So when you look at, when you look at these performance numbers, I mean, they're garbage, to be honest compared to what we're getting out of the whole entire 30 series lineup right now, these numbers are just not good. They're not good in terms of performance. They're not good in terms of efficiency. We don't know pricing yet. So we don't know what the cost per one mega hash pricing might be, if they're gonna be good or not there. But I mean, just looking at this, 26 mega hash at 125 watts. I mean, that's just less than 1070 performance. And that card is four years old. So I think these numbers are not going to be the true numbers for what these cards will be able to do because it just would absolutely not make any sense in my mind to release cards like this with these numbers. So when you go and look at the fine print here, uh, it says that these hash rates are provided for reference clocks. So I think these are these GPUs are not you know these not overclocked not power limited in any way. If you just took it out of the box, these are the numbers that you would get. And I'm gonna go into some speculation here in a second around what I think these cards could do. And we'll talk about like, do they really even still make sense if you're a miner? Going back to one of the points on this 3060, which I know has been something miners have been looking forward to, especially myself. You know, I know the 3060 Ti is just like, the best right now, right? It's like the greatest of all time mining GPU. And it's really hard to get. So even if the 3060 couldn't beat it, but it was more available and still had good performance numbers, yeah, let's like let's pick them up. Same as the 3070. 3060 Ti with Ethereum mining makes more sense than 3070, but you can't get the 3060 Ti's right now. So you, you find what you can, right? I talked about this in my last video. But they're going to uh cripple the 3060 on launch uh, by 50%. So some lucky guy here on videocards.com, great website if you don't use it, by the way. Some lucky guy has already gotten 3060 uh, Zotac and was testing it with mining. And what happened is when he started mining, he was getting 41.5 mega hash. And if you look there, it's kind of hard to see, but it's about 110 watts. Uh, doesn't, but it doesn't look like he power limited the card. I watched the video too. It's not in my native language, so it's hard to follow. But it was 110 watts, not power limited. If these screens match up, I'm not sure. But let's just say it was doing 110 watts at 41.5, and that's you know what it could do out of the box. But then once the driver detects you're mining Ethereum, it's going to cripple your card and put you down you know, to about 25 mega hash. So, I mean, total bum out, right? You know, the first thought I had was miners have the financial incentive to figure this out. I don't know much about GPU architecture, driver architecture. There's a lot of other people out there that are way smarter than me. But can those people find a way around this? You know, how hard is it going to be? Is it going to be something that in a month the mining community came up with a way to do this. Uh, I will say uh, that it also has been confirmed that this will apply both to the Windows and Linux drivers. So there's, you have no out if you mine on Linux instead. So, you know, for this card specifically, I think it's, does the mining community get together and figure this out? We've done more difficult things in the past. Uh, the financial incentive is there, the belief in the cause of cryptocurrency is there. So it remains to be seen, it remains to be seen. We'll see what the community can come up with, but I, I I won't be getting one of these cards now. And I guess that's really what, you know, Nvidia is looking to do is at least the initial release really push miners away from it. 
so that can be more available for gamers. So I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this whole thing, by the way, in the comments section below. Um, let me know if you were planning on getting one of these cards, what you think about what NVIDIA's talk, uh, come out with today. Uh, what do you think about the CMP GPUs? And we'll go more into that in a second. And what do you think about them, um, you know, making this 3060 essentially dead on arrival for miners? All right, so let's do some comparisons here. So I have this uh, spreadsheet and I've plugged in some numbers. Uh, on the top here, you can see what the current performance is for 30 series, the TI, the 70 and the 80. Uh, and the way I do this, if you haven't seen this in a previous video, you know, I put in their performance, their power limited wattage. Uh, and what we're gonna look at really right now, it because we have the numbers, is what their efficiency is gonna be. And you can see that 3060 Ti is the most efficient GPU for Ethereum mining hands down right now. But the 3070 isn't far away and the 3080, if you can get it, you know, it, it isn't bad, especially when you compare it to all the GPUs that came before it. But now let's get to this 3060 because it's being limited to 50% hash rate, you know, if we use that screenshot here where we're gonna assume 110 watts, I mean, the TDP of the card is 170. So, I mean, that's probably about right once you power limit it. Um, so if we use that screenshot there at 110 watts, only doing 25 mega hash, I mean, it's just awful. It's an awful efficiency. You, you would never buy that card. So, I mean, that's where it is right now. We'll do some speculation on this bottom part in a second. Let's look at this, let's look at this new series of GPUs, right? The CMP. These are the numbers that NVIDIA provided around their performance. And looking again at just efficiency, I mean, just terrible, terrible. Like you, you know, you first start thinking, you know, if we just look at these numbers, let's do this. Why would any miner buy these GPUs? Unless they are priced so dirt cheap, it makes absolutely zero sense. So you would just continue to buy 3060 Ti's, 3070's, right? 3080's, instead of getting any of these crypto mining specific GPUs. So there's, there's got to be more to the story here because why would, why would NVIDIA do that? It doesn't make any sense. So going by what it said on uh, their release here, where those are provided, results are provided for reference clocks. Okay, well, what if we take around the average percent that you would power limit a 30 series card and the average percent that you would get when you overclock it, what mega hash stock versus what mega hash you get overclocked, I put some numbers together. So using about what you would do on, a, on the, on the uh, 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3080, I took some numbers and this is where I landed, right? So... This is about a 30% decrease in wattage used. And that's what I run on my 3060 Ti, for example, compared to their standard TDP. And that's where these numbers land us. And then when I think about my 3060 Ti, I get about a 17% performance improvement when I overclock it on Ethereum. So I did just like a 17% improvement on all these uh, ad hash performance numbers versus what NVIDIA provided. And this is what we landed on. We still landed in a place where they realistically, unless you wait, which these are gonna be released later for this 90HX, these numbers still don't make sense to get over any of the uh, 30 series GPUs. So I'm still thinking there's gotta be more to the story here. I mean, just looking at this 30X, for example, this is what, a 1660 Ti or Super does at 75 watts. So, I mean, maybe this card can go down to 75, but then the thing you gotta consider is with, and this happened in the past with mining GPUs, they have almost no resale value unless you're gonna sell it to a miner. Where you, when you buy a gaming GPU, you can mine on it for years and the market is wide open when you go to sell it because miners will pick it up, gamers will pick it up, and everybody that's in between. So I just, there's gotta be more to the story here because it just doesn't make sense to me. On one hand, you gotta consider, you know, if you're new to mining, you gotta consider this. Many of us that have been in it for a while know that like the profitability that Ethereum has right now is not gonna last forever. It will go down. 
It's happened before, right? And so for a company like NVIDIA, this huge company to come out, draw a line in the sand and release and dedicate time to releasing and getting board partners on board with specific mining GPUs when, when like all of this could just stop being profitable a month from now is, I don't know, it's kind of wild to me because if you've been in this for, you know, three, four or five years, you know that this is like this moment in time where things are really profitable and everything will either level out or profits will drop. Um, so it's just interesting for a company like NVIDIA to come out who's been through this before to still release mining specific cards. So these numbers have to do more. They just have to do more or miners will never buy these cards. They just won't. It doesn't make any sense. In my opinion, what these have to do to make and to make any sense for a miner to even think about, they have to beat these numbers in efficiency and they have to be priced really good. If you price these cards more than you price your regular 30 series, nobody's gonna buy them. If they're less efficient than anything in the 30 series, no miner's ever gonna buy them because we're always taking into account the resale value. I have videos on this, right? You have to take into account the resale value when you factor in break even and you factor in all your investments. So those are the those are the things that need to happen for these to make sense for miners. They have to be really efficient, beating the efficiency of the already released cards. And the cost for them has to be lower than the already released cards, or miners will continue to buy RTX 30 series. That's just that's just it. That's the facts. Uh, what else do we want to talk about today? So um just some fun stuff as we end up here. This internet cafe in Vietnam has transformed into a cryptocurrency mining farm. I mean, that makes sense. There's one of these in a local mall um, to me. And I've always thought that like they have all these PCs, you know, mounted to the wall and stuff for people to come in. And I'm like, man, I really hope they're mining on those things when nobody's in there. So I don't know, it's pretty cool to see. And I didn't see this. I don't know, maybe you guys did. But um, I know Zotac is actually a company that does support mining, which is is really cool and makes me feel uh, good about that company. And apparently they posted this a little while ago on their Twitter where they uh, they represented, you know, a cryptocurrency mining rig with their cards in it. It's been removed since because I'm sure it stirred up quite a storm of conversation. Um, but I don't know. I thought that was that was pretty cool. And I know Hashraptor. Um, on YouTube has been supported by them as well in his cryptocurrency mining endeavors. But I don't know, that was just cool to see, especially in a time where you have a company like NVIDIA drawing that line in the sand, like I said. But I think that's everything. I really would love to know what you guys think about this news. What would have to happen with these uh, CMP GPUs for it to make sense for you to go for them versus you know the consumer gamer GPUs? Um, and what you think about NVIDIA making the decision to um, limit their 3060 for Ethereum mining. Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe we'll get a cool discussion going. But anyway, guys, uh, that's the news I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining specifically. Please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you in the next video.